a long time no talk so it's been a while uh i know <laughs> i'm sorry um i have the same excuse as always so don't expect anything new i've been really busy with school and work um but also i've been busy the past few days is that gonna stay in there it's very precarious Um, I've been really busy the past few days with just cleaning and trying to get my house presentable because my family's coming over tomorrow. Um, by family, I mean my grandmother and my aunt who are very um, opinionated, <laughs> I guess is the right word to use. Um, so they are coming over tomorrow and I need to make my house look not crazy, um, which it doesn't. So that's accomplished, I guess. I get my kitchen table, kitchen chairs, dining room chairs situated. Um, but yeah, so I've been really busy cleaning the past few days. Uh, but it looks nice. Everything looks nice. Also, the gallery got new loyalty cards. They're really cool. Um, they're punch cards, which are really neat. Uh, and I have punch holes, hole punch, hole punches, um, that are shaped like teddy bears. So... Yeah, and I think they'll be the perfect size. Um, I'm not sure if I'll... I'm a f I don't know. I'm debating whether or not I want to actually... Uh, whether or not I actually want to hole punch the card. Just because I want to test the hole punch. But at the same time, I don't want to ruin a perfectly good card. If you know what I mean. Uh, like I just ruined my freaking manicure. But that's fine. Um, I do this thing where I ruin my manicure... And instead of, you know, taking off the nail polish and just trying over again, I just paint more nail polish on top of it. Which leads to more problems than not. Um, so, I think I'm going to have to fix that. But, yeah. I don't know. My life, I feel like, is falling apart right now. But, it's fine. But I think the house is in pretty good shape. The Roomba has definitely helped with cleaning up everything on the main level. So I have run the Roomba pretty much all week, um, every day. So that's helped. Um, and then I cleaned, I mean, I cleaned everything. I cleaned every room in this household. And it looks really great. Let me show you upstairs because the last time that you saw me um, vlog style uh, was a long time ago. And the upstairs was atrocious. Uh, the cat's room was terrible. Have this neat little Glade plug-in, which is wonderful. Helps with the odor um, of six pets. And this room is looking pretty, pretty nice. I've got some cute little Halloween decorations um, strewn about in this room. And Micah's room, I cleaned, like every room I cleaned. But this room, in particular looks so much better those are all just boxes that we have never unpacked since moving here um i got this cool little thing at michael's it was on sale it's got like little drawers and such um so that's cool uh what else uh, i mean this was like the biggest room the biggest project you can still see like lines on the carpet from where I vacuumed and I also steam cleaned the carpet. This is terrible lighting. Um, but I also steam cleaned the carpet just because it really smelled in there and there were so many stains. I went in there with a UV light that we had from our last apartment when we were cleaning up that. And there were so many stains on that carpet from the cats. So I tried to get them up as best as I could and then I just steam cleaned that whole room. So it does smell better in there which is a bonus, um, so hopefully it will continue to stay that way, but I doubt it. Uh, here's the bedroom, I'm giving you like a mini house tour. But the bedroom is so nice, there's no clothes on the floor. There's actually nothing on the floor besides like my lamp and then like the laundry hamper, so that's great. The bathroom looks pretty good. There's a couple things on the counter, but you know, for the most part, I mean, it's pretty clean. Um, so everything in the house is really nice and neat and organized. Oh, goodness. Hello, you guys. Uh, I'm in my bathroom, obviously, but 
I just got back from dinner with my aunt and my grandmother uh, and the thing is, it's like I spent like the past two days like cleaning, deep cleaning my whole house just for them to spend like five minutes looking around being like, oh nice, cool, okay, let's go out to dinner, which is fine, but like I spent so much time cleaning my house and now it's dark, but I'm thinking I want to go to Target, but I don't think I'm going to go today, just because I really just want to like chill out. Um, and also I'm going to close my blinds. I'm not used to having these blinds open. I usually keep the upstairs blinds closed for whatever reason, but yeah, so that was fun. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be, which is nice. My chin is oily, which is also nice. Here's Pro. Chilling out with me. Oh, you'll go bite me. He doesn't like to be scratched on the sides. Oh, what do you hear? Don't go bite me. So the dogs, actually, I was going to feed the animals, but it's only 6 o'clock. So they don't really need to be fed right now. They usually get fed around 7, so. I don't know what I'm going to do, because Micah says he'll be at the Airsoft store for a little bit. And I'm bored. And I was like, can I bring Yuna? Because for the past, like, two or three weeks, I've been wanting to bring Yuna back to the Airsoft store. So she can, like, continue to work on her people skills. Because um, she hasn't worked on her, her people skills since she finished her training, which was, like, a month ago. <laughs> or longer. So like she needs to, you know, she needs to keep working on her training, but I can't work on her training if I can't take her anywhere. And Michael was like, no, not today. Don't bring her in today. And I'm like, but I wanna. And also I have this bump on my tattoo and it hurts. It also itches. It's just a bug bite, but it's annoying. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. Hey guys. So I am in, first of all, a new kind of outfit it's like another um sweatshirt dress because my other one is fine it's great I love it um but this one is more of like meant to be an actual sweatshirt dress I don't know why the dogs are barking but this is meant to be an actual dress like sweatshirt dress the other one is meant to be like more of a sweatshirt it just happens to be a large <laughs> and fits me kind of like a dress um, I think they're barking because I'm talking. But I also got, this is from Fashion Nova, by the way. But I also got this other dress from Fashion Nova. And I'm doing a mini haul because I got these literally after I finished filming my haul video. And I had finished editing it and uploading it. So I didn't feel like fixing that. Um, just for two extra items. But I got this other dress from Fashion Nova. I'll insert a picture of what it looks like on but it's really cute it's really comfortable and that'll be a cute like fall dress well hello there so it is almost bedtime <laughs> for me uh, as an old lady it is almost nine o'clock so almost bedtime and i went to target can you tell i got some new pjs from target which are super cute and they had this as like a piece set like a top and a long pant bottom set that matched, but they didn't have any bottoms in my size. The only size I could find was an extra small, and I was like, mm, don't know, don't know about that. So I just got the top, but it's super cute, and I love it. And I actually think maybe, I don't know, maybe I should have gotten the like double XL just because it would have been like really long and baggy, and it would have been more like a shirt or like a nightgown than just like a regular shirt, um, like a night shirt. But I didn't, so oh well. Um, but I got the small and the shirt size because usually what I do is I'll sleep in one of Micah's shirts and that's pretty much it. And I'll have like underwear on, but that's it. Oh, and I moved my mirror that was in this corner. It's in the bathroom now because whenever I'm getting ready in the morning, I don't want to like disturb Micah. Um, but I want to like, you know, check my outfit and stuff. So I just stuck it in the bathroom because I figured that'd be the best place to get it because I can put it um, because I can close the bathroom door and not bother him. But last night I did not sleep well and I'm not really sure why um, because, okay, well, tripped over that. 
and I don't know because when I went to bed I was like not feeling good and I'm don't I don't know I don't know why I wasn't feeling good I wasn't feeling like sick but like my head like really hurt um it was almost like a migraine but usually migraines are like you become very sensitive to like light and sound but it was just like I don't know it was almost like I couldn't get comfortable last night like my neck hurt and like my head there was just all this pressure like behind my eyes in my head like the back of my neck I don't know why I don't know why I turned that off also I turned my overhead fan off which I never do but apparently I just did um wrong one because I like to sleep with my overhead fan on and my fan fan on but yeah so let me tell you about today so let me try to find lighting that's like not terrible um also I don't have pants on excuse me so yeah today I had to go into work this morning because Melissa had a doctor's appointment and um I had to cover for her so on top of me not sleeping good last night, I also had to get up early to go to work, which sucked because throughout October, we're going to open up an hour earlier, which sucks even more because I hate that, um, because that means I have to get up even earlier and I don't want to do that. But yeah, so I did that this morning and then I came home from work and hung out with Micah for a little bit before he had to leave for his work. That's been my day. It's been kind of stressful for like no reason, <laughs> but I did take my exam. Um, I had an exam that was due tonight at midnight. Um, our guess is due because it's not past midnight, but it's due tonight at midnight, but I already took it earlier today and I did really well on it and I'm really happy about it. Um, I got like a, what was it? Like a 36 out of 38, which I don't know what that is. It's a 94. Um, my teacher keeps changing my grade for my ASL. So it was for my ASL class, which if you don't know what that stands for, it stands for American Sign Language, um, which I'm loving. It's, I think I'm going to minor in it, honestly, um, just because I really have been enjoying it. But, um, my teacher keeps changing my grade. So we have two, um, two parts to all of our exams. So after each unit, we have a unit exam. So the first part of our unit exam is a timed multiple choice question exam. It has about 30 to 40 questions, um, and you have about 45 minutes, I think, to complete that part of the exam. And then you get your grade immediately afterwards. You don't get to see which questions you got wrong yet, just because... Um, just because the teacher doesn't want you to share answers, obviously, um, but it does tell you your score. And then you have a part two to the exam, which is not timed, but it is making a video, which I'm kind of good at, just not consistently good at, but um, you make a video, you film yourself, and you film um, like phrases that she writes out for you. So basically the first part, it's like, the video is like two parts, but you do it all in one video. So like part A of the video is for this one, for example, she like made a video of herself signing and basically signing, telling us what we need to sign for part A. And then part B, she just wrote out, like typed out um, phrases that she wanted us to sign. And then we would sign those on the video and then submit the video um, and upload it. I have like this owie part of my chest and I don't know why. It feels like a bruise, but I guess it's not, but it hurts. Anyway, um, so I did that and like I said, my part A I did good. I got like a 94, 95 on it, but my part B, she, um, keeps changing my grade on it and I'm not sure why and it's not like a significant change it's like a one point grade change but I'm like but why are you changing it like I don't know but anyway I did 
just fine on that too. I only got like one or two points taken off for like not raising my eyebrows correctly. Um, for like topic and comment. Anyway, that's a lot to explain. But I've been talking for way too long because my camera's overheating and I need to go to bed because I gotta catch up on sleep that I didn't get last night. <sighs> and also I'll probably gonna lay in bed for like an hour watching more ASMR videos that I don't need to watch, but I'm going to anyway. So I'll talk to you guys hopefully tomorrow. Hey guys, so remember that thing that I told you? Um, have I told you in vlogs before? I feel like I have, but then half the time I feel like I don't ever upload the vlogs. Uh, so maybe I've never told you this before, but maybe I've told you in a video. I don't remember, but I do this thing where I go out, I buy stuff, I come home, I film a haul, and I edit the haul, and I upload the haul, and then like the next day, <laughs> I go back out, and I buy more stuff. And I usually don't end up filming another haul video because it's not worth it, um, since I already, you know, filmed and uploaded another one. But that's basically what happened. So also, I'm shiny, and I don't know why. Did that help at all? I don't know. I don't even have, like, foundation on. I just have concealer and then, like, my normal makeup. So, like, my brows and obviously the other stuff on my face, but I don't have foundation on. Anyway, Crow is climbing up here. He never jumps on the bed. I don't know what it is. He always insists on clawing the crap out of the bed and climbing it instead of just jumping on it. He jumps on everything else, just not the bed. I don't know why. Anyway, but I did the thing. I went and I bought clothes. I did a haul video. Um, if you haven't seen it, I'll put it up here. But then I went to Target today and I got more stuff because I just recently joined the gym. Um, I joined Planet Fitness and I have a membership to the Y, um, the YMCA, but the closest one is like, like almost half an hour away. And I'm not about to drive my ass half an hour to go to the gym. So I decided to join a closer gym, which is like five, maybe ten minutes away. It's not that far. Um, but to encourage myself to go to the gym, um, which I'm going to start Monday because I like to start like, like if I'm starting a new diet or if I'm working on, you know, working out, I like to start fresh at the beginning of the week instead of because like you know how they say like you know you should exercise but you should give like Sunday as like a break day you know or you're like a cheat day for a lot of people um I like to have like a set schedule so I like to start whatever n thing new that I'm doing I like to start on a Monday so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go to the gym on Monday and to encourage myself to continue to go to the gym I'm actually gonna try to go to the gym every single day of the week except for maybe on um Maybe probably Friday and Saturday I won't go because I'm working in the morning then when I want to come home Maybe I'll go to the gym. Maybe I won't. I don't know. I'll have to figure out my schedule But I am going to try to go every weekday So maybe Monday through Friday or at least Monday through Thursday and then possibly on Sunday because Sunday's kind of my free day um, In terms of the weekend because Fridays and Saturdays. I'm usually working um, Anyway, that's a lot of rambling <laughs> To get to the point, I wanted to encourage myself to go to the gym, so I went and bought some workout gear because I don't have a lot. I have like these like spandexy. I have two pairs of those, one from Old Navy, one from somewhere, I don't remember. I have a long pair of like workout leggings. These are like more like joggers, but I have a long pair of workout leggings that I got from Victoria's Secret. I have a couple of sports bras, but not really many that I like to wear. I have maybe three pairs of sports bras that I actually like wearing. The others, I'm just like, eh. Um, some of them are a little too big. One of them just looks really weird and I don't like it. Um, and then I don't have a lot of, like, workout tanks. I have, like, one workout tank that I really like. Another workout tank that'll work. Uh, if I don't have anything else, but that's pretty much it. And I like to work out in tank tops because I get really hot and I get really sweaty. Um, and I don't like the whole, you know when your armpits get sweaty and like you start getting sweat, like if you're wearing a t-shirt or a long sleeve shirt and then you like put your arm down and you can feel it, I don't like that. So that's why I like to work out in tank tops because I don't get that feeling that often. Um, I assume Planet Fitness has, <laughs> look at me going off, more on tangents. I assume Planet Fitness has a 
shower area because most gyms usually do um so i bought a book bag to use as like a gym bag um and i really really like it so i'm going to take everything out because it's got like a bunch of stuffing in it i'm sorry you're just gonna have to deal with this angle for a minute um so i can take this freaking tag off but before i so i got up early this morning and i went ahead and went to target because it was something on my checklist this book bag was 30 bucks um and it's got this like front compartment here which of course has like a bunch of freaking tissue paper that i don't need so it's got this nice front compartment here and then it's got this cool clasp thing that's kind of like a like double bag clasps, you know? So you can keep it open or you can clasp it shut. Um, and then it's got like your main pocket here, which again has more freaking tissue paper that I don't need. Oh my god. Look at all that tissue paper that was in this bag. Um, oh, and a silica pack. Great. Um, but there's the main section here. It's got a side pocket, which I love because I love having side pockets for water bottles. Um, and it's got this hook here that I'm not really sure what the point of it is. Um, maybe if I wanted to like hook them, because it's got a hook on the other side along with another side pocket. So I don't know if that means... I'm going to have to figure this out. Professional vlogger guys, YouTuber, whatever. I don't know if that means that I can like unhook this and then like do like that. I don't know. I don't know what the point of these like what these the point of these hooks things are for. I don't know. But I'm just gonna leave them like that because I have no reason to have them unhooked. And then it's also got this really cool pocket on the side here. And I don't really know what it's for, but it's like a pretty decent sized pocket. I'll probably put my phone and my um, headphones in there. I actually, I bought new Bluetooth headphones because the ones that I have um, that I keep in my book bag, I keep those for school in case I'm like sitting around waiting and I want to listen to music or watch YouTube or whatever. But those are not very good quality um, and they were pretty inexpensive. So I really wanted nicer Bluetooth headphones. So I got these, which were like, they were originally $59 and they were on sale for like maybe 20. So I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I tried them out last night and like hooked it up and everything and they work fine. So I think I'm just going to take these to the gym with me. Although the only thing that sucks is like it doesn't come with like a carrying case. You just got to like carry these danglies around. Um, but I wanted to get the ones that I have for school are similar to like AirPods. Um, but I don't like them because they don't fit my ears that well. I much prefer the earphones that have this like rubber bit to it um, versus like the solid plastic. Because I find that that hurts my ears a lot. Um, and the rubber bits are a lot more comfortable for me to wear. So I will put these in my gym bag my official gym bag and i think i'm gonna put it in this little back pocket that i found um because that seems like the least likely place that people would steal from i don't know um because i was thinking since they probably have a shower at the gym that in my gym bag i would take you know like a towel um and then like a makeup a little makeup kit um so i'll probably do that um Excuse you, Martin. What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay. Um, and that way, you know, if I do end up showering at the gym, which most days I probably will, um, then I can just take this with me. Um, but anyway, so that's that. As far as the clothes that I got, I got... These pair of leggings from Target, which are super cute. I haven't tried them on yet, but I love this color. And I really like the, like, super, super light pink um, at the bottom. But I also like this almost, like, cranberry type color. They had this, like, purpley cranberry color in, like, a solid pair. Um, but I like this one better. So I got these. These were, like, $20, $24.99, so, like, $25 for those. And then I got another, I got another pair of plain black joggers just because they are like my absolute favorite. Um, and these were also 24 dollars 
because I was going to get a couple of pairs of like mm, cute colors, but I didn't really see any at Target that I liked besides the one. Um, then I also got a plain gray tank top to work out in. That one was $14.99. And then I got this gray tank top, which was also, I bet you, $14.99. Yep. And I got this one because I thought this one would go well with this because it's got kind of like the similar pinks in them. So I thought that would look good together. And then, or I could just wear like the gray, the solid gray. Um, you know, I can mix it up, whatever. And then I got this sports bra, which it's funny, my bottoms are medium, but my tops are large because I got big boobs, I guess. Um, but they're not even that big. I got a, if you need to know, I have a 34th C size cup, which is not that big. Um, but it says that a medium should fit 34C, but I looked at their medium and I was like, that is not going to fit me. Um, so this is a large and it goes with the first pair of leggings that I showed you, which is super cute. I'm not one of those people who works out in just a sports bra and leggings. I can't do that. It makes me feel weird. Maybe if I get more in shape, I will. But like, see, look, like the colors match and everything. It's super cute. So I got that. The sports bra was like 20 bucks, maybe. Yeah, $20. Um, I decided to go to Target to buy sports gear because we were going to go to Dick's the other day. But Dick's is so expensive, Dick's Sporting Goods, so I was like, screw that, I'm just going to go to Target. And I got another sports bra also in a large, actually this is um, in my actual size because it told me. It doesn't have like small, medium, or large on the tag, it just says 34C. Whereas the other one, ugh, the other one just says large. So this one I got in my actual bra size. And it's just a plain black bra. Excuse, like, all of my dirty clothes in my bathroom. Wow. Um, it's just plain and black and gray. So I thought that would, you know, go with whatever. But, yeah, that's my mini haul, I guess. Um, I gotta clean up all of this freaking mess that I just made just from that backpack. Sorry, I was checking to make sure my dogs are still in the backyard. <laughs> I don't know why. I just had a sneaking suspicion that, like, maybe they weren't. But... At least you know it is. So I'm standing like in my bathtub literally, but I don't know why I was like somewhat worried that they weren't in the backyard anymore, so I had to check. But anyway, I cut my hair. Not that you can tell because it's up in a ponytail. But I did cut my hair. Um I layered it. Also, why am I so shiny? I don't know why. Anyway, let me show you all the hair that I cut off. Um I just put my hair up so I really don't feel like taking it back down, but I'll show you later maybe. Um, but here's my trash can of like all the hair that I cut out of my head. Um, I basically sat in this chair in front of this mirror and uh, snipped away at my hair. I put layers back in it, which is like the biggest thing. I'll just take it down and show you. <laughs> but that was like the biggest thing is I wanted layers back in my hair because when I got my hair cut a while back, they didn't put layers in it like I wanted. Um, so it's a little bit shorter than it was. Um, it was probably down to like here-ish, um, but now it's like up by my nipples. Um, whereas before it like covered my boobs. Anyway, but yeah, I put some layers back in it, which makes me happy. And also it does this thing that I love which it like comes down to like a point see that i got a little tail down there um but i love it it's like my favorite thing um also i have a wig in the sink i also have a lot of stuff on my sink ignore that that was embarrassing um but I have a wig in my sink mainly because i wanted to buy a wig for my halloween costume because I'm going as a female Beetlejuice and I wanted a green wig. But it doesn't look good on me because, I don't know, it's either I don't know how to put on wigs right. Um, it's not shaped right for my face, you know, my head. Um, or the cut of it is not right. Because it has a middle part, which I haven't had a middle part and I can't tell you how long. Um, like probably over... 
probably over 10 years I haven't had a middle part so I like I don't know I just couldn't with the middle part I'm so shiny I can't with that either but anyway so I'll probably not do the wig but I gotta kind of figure out how I want to do my hair because Beetlejuice has very iconic hair but I don't think I want my hair to be crazy I think I just want it to be um normal but still you know represent Beetlejuice so I'm not really sure um how I'm gonna do that because all the Beetlejuices that I've seen have had like either blonde or green hair um but there was one that was so cute it was this one she has like you can tell she has naturally or it might be a wig but it's like white grayish hair and then it's almost like spray painted either that or she has naturally green hair and it's spray painted white at the roots I don't know but it's so good but I don't know I don't know if like spray paint will show up in my hair not spray paint but like you can buy like colored hairsprays we did that for Micah a couple years ago when he did the Joker and I did Harley Quinn we like spray painted his hair green um so they make like colored hairspray but my hair is black so I have a sneaking suspicion that that's not going to show up in my hair so I don't know I might resort back to Amazon to find maybe like an ashy gray um hair wig wig that was the word I was looking for I was gonna say hair something but then I realized the word I was looking for was wig Ugh. also I've been going to the gym um and by going to the gym I mean I went to the gym yesterday and I went to the gym this morning and I probably won't go to the gym tomorrow just because I don't think I'm gonna have time I would go to the gym at my school, but I don't know how it works, so I just won't do that. So I want to go to the gym at least three or four times a week. Um, so that's my schedule that I'm on right now. Sorry, I'm like picking up my gym. Um, but right now, like I said, I'm only doing 30 minutes of cardio. I go to Planet Fitness, which um, I really like so far. So I'm doing 30 minutes of cardio every time that I go. And then next week I'll switch to an hour. So right now I'm just doing, I do 10 minutes on the elliptical, 10 minutes on the stationary bike, and then 10 minutes on the treadmill. Treadmill. And then next week I will do my 30 minute cardio plus the 30 minute circuit. So if you know Planet Fitness, you know what the 30 minute circuit is. If you don't know what the 30 minute circuit, it, circuit is, it's basically, um, they have a section sectioned off um, in Planet Fitness and it has... Well, I don't think it has all the machines that are in the gym um, in terms of, like, weights and stuff. But every machine that is in the 30-minute circuit um, that's in the 30-minute circuit is in the gym. There's something in my eyeball. Ugh. I got a lot of work done yesterday. Um, I So yesterday, since I got up so early, um, I got home from the gym. I showered, took care of all the animals. Um, and then I just like kicked butt like I got a bunch of stuff done. I got a bunch of um, Nothing for YouTube, of course um, At least not for my channel. I got a two videos filmed for My I guess technically my second channel, but mainly like my businesses channel um, or my workplaces channel um, for the gallery so I got two videos edited for them and uploaded um so that was a lot because I had over an hour. First, the first one that I did, I had almost two hours of footage, which was such a pain in the ass to edit. The second one, I had about an hour of footage. Um, oh yeah, I need to feed the dogs. Holly's barking. She's like, it's time to feed me. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go feed the dogs. Um, so I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, so... I don't even know what's happening right now. There's two fire trucks, there's an ambulance, there's two police cars. <sighs> People don't know how to drive. There's been like 20 stoplights. Mm. Who the fuck is honking? The fuck are you honking at, Bis? Are you serious? I can't fucking go that way? This is the way that I go home. What is this? Why can't I go home?
Oh, did someone get hit? Bro. Am I allowed to turn? No, there's cars coming. What is happening? This is ridiculous.